Hey guys, how's it going? Gary Crowhurst here. Um, so I'm off on my travels soon. Uh, I leave in three days time. And I've been searching high and low for a mountain board bag. Now, I've had this scrub mountain board bag for quite a while. Um, it's quite a decent bag actually. It fits everything in, it's nice and simple. You can chuck your board in um, and carry it around. Now, the only problem I find with this bag is mountain boards are pretty heavy. You know, you're talking about 10 kilograms um, for, a, for a board like mine. I've got the Pro 95 there. Um, I've just come off the Tom Kirkman. Um, and gone back to the Pro 95, which is pretty sick, it's nice, uh, nice and small, and a little bit different to what I feel. Um, but as for this scrub bag, it's a little bit big, bulky, and you've got to try and carry it. Now, why do you want to carry 10 kilos when you've already got a rucksack? Uh, well, in my case, I'm, I'm going to have a rucksack on my back, which is 24 kilos, and then I've got to walk all the way across New York um, to my hotel, and then to New Zealand after that, where I'll be traveling afterwards. So, I'm going to it's a pretty awesome bag. As you can see, one of the best features on this bag is the fact that it's got wheels. This is going to enable us to pull our boards about rather than carrying our board everywhere. Okay, this board bag is not only amazing um, because it's got wheels and because it's easy to carry, it's amazing because inside these bags you have to keep your pads in them. And we all know the stench of a pad bag. It absolutely reeks. The best thing with this bag is we have an external pad bag just on the side here. This pad bag can fit all your gear in, helmet, knee pads, elbow pads, wrist guards, you know the score. And then even better, this pad bag can even be removed from the bag itself to be an exterior bag, leaving you with your mountain board bag with an extra pocket still on one side where you can keep your wheels. Now the only downfall with this bag is the fact you have to take two wheels off. As we know guys, you need one spanner to take two wheels off, nice and easy. Um, that, that's all I'd say the only downfall is. So I'm just going to show you the um, board in the bag. One thing I also found is I'm going to be taking my skateboard with me. And with this bag, my skateboard fits perfectly underneath the board. Okay, so I can save so much space, carry my skateboard in this bag also, ideal. And that extra pocket I was talking about, perfect for your wheels. Okay, so once you've got your two wheels off, keep the other two on. You can then chuck your board in, nice and simple. And as we can see here, it fits nice and snug. One of the best features with this as well is, if you remember me earlier mentioning that I'm going across New York, I'm going to be having this massive bag, as any mountain board bag would be, but also my large backpack on the back. What I'm actually going to do is wrap my backpack onto this bag. So I'm just carrying this one bag with my backpack attached to these kiddies here. Once we add these extra straps, it's ideal. Then have a board bag we can walk across New York with. Cheers for listening guys, you can get these um, on the link below, so just have a look below and you can get one of these bags yourselves. Peace out.